Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we're on a bit of a different kind of video. This is actually an Asato Corsa and we're testing out the Camus C5. Obviously it's my first ever direct drive wheel. We've got the DJI Pocket 2 attached to my chest so hopefully it's getting a good enough angle. We've got the microphone above so hopefully it's picking up my voice clearly. We're going to jump in and this is going to be my first ever experience really drifting with a direct drive wheel. So any pointers in the comments, any hate in the comments, any constructive criticism, criticism in general in the comments, help me learn how to control a direct drive wheel. Obviously there's no clutch, so there's you know just automatic gears, no traction control, ABS or any of that stuff. And we're gonna be on a custom map called Tony's Backyard and it's in a Toyota Supra Mark IV Drift. So in nice orange colorway. So this is more just for me showing off the C5 in action and also to learn how to actually drift in a set of course uh, being one of the top tier games for drifting so i've got to sit quite far back so hopefully the mic's picking me up perfectly unfortunately because i have the screen as a curve monitor the obs doesn't really pick it up as as it should do so it is a bit cut off but as you can see once we're in game everything is as it should be you can see the steering wheel you can see the game moving with the steering wheel we're gonna use these switches down here i've got one to turn off the traction control as you can see there and then one to turn off abs traction control is only one level abs is also one level and then the right side we're going to turn the turbo at a hundred percent to get the maximum out of this baby so i've got to sit quite far back so you can see the whole steering wheel in action here try and move that down a little bit as well i'm not going to be in this angle because i can't i can't drift for anything so i'm going to be in this angle to start off with and then as we progress in the drifting experience we will then go into first person and uh, try and learn it that way but so far we're going to be this way I'm just going to try and get a figure of eight going. Oh, God. See, it's that, tur it's that turning, bro. It's that... Got to get it kicked out. Kick it out, kick it out. Yeah, yeah, and it flick back. No, see, I can't do the flicking. The flicking back is what I'm uh, struggling at doing here. I want to try... Is this... See, like, can you... Apparently you can drive on this, so let's get a nice little drift around these duckies. Right, so I'm just gonna learn how. Oh, there we go! Oh, there we go! There we go! Yeah, 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 yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo! Rock! Abandoned ship. Okay, this is more like it. Yo, this is this isn't even a, the track. This is 360. Yeah, this isn't the uh, the track. This is just. Apparently you can drive on the water, so it's pretty cool that you can drift between the ducks. Get around this way. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Too much. Dang it. Can you go all the way over here? No way. Through the rocks, through the rocks, through the rocks. Oh, call me Jim Connor. Joking. Terrible. Terrible. I can't even control the car. Okay, this is where you can get your figure of eights going. You can uh, figure of eight around here. Yeah, I can't even do that. Right, okay, let's get to the actual track. Oh, God, you can't even see the steering wheel. Oh, my God. Okay, we're on the track. That was, uh, I was just trying to sort out the camera there for the steering wheel. Next thing you know, we're already drift. Hello? Hello? Who's this then? Who's this then? Jim Carner. Rest in peace, Ken Block. Legend. Oh, 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 hello. I can't see anything because the smoke's crazy in this car. I can't see. I can't, yeah, I couldn't see anything. Ow, jeez, I need broke my wrist. Bench, hit the bench, nice. Right, so as we're turning, you want to obviously turn it, flick it. Nope, too much, too much. Silly goose. Right. Get it out, get it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control it, control it. Back out, back out. Okay, okay. This is just foot to the pedal. Foot, foot to the pedal. Pedal to the metal. I don't know what the term is, but... Pedal to the floor. Oh, bit of a chicane. And, yeah, we would have died. That would have been an instant death. I apologise if you can't see the steering wheel as well as I'm... Hoping you can. Um, oh god, oh god. 
Okay, so we need to get the smoke back up. That was, uh, right. So we went sideways like crazy. That's what it was. That's what it was. We have to, like, really flick the wheel out. There we go. There we go. Flick the wheel. That's what we want. Right, we're going to try and go for the long... No, yep, yep, yep. Go for the, the long corner up here. Oh, feather it, feather it. Too much, not enough. Okay, now we're going to follow this line that we've somewhat made already. Now we're going to not follow the line that we made. Yeah, this is like so hard to, to grasp. Oh my god. Okay. All right, nope, got to keep it out. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Tandem it in. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Get back out again. Back out this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flick it back out that way. Right, am I doing this right? I have no idea. You have to let me know in the comments because, like I said, I've never drifted. I'm new to all of this direct drive wheel stuff. Obviously, I'm having to use the power of the car and the brake pedal to somewhat get the back end to do what I want it to do and then obviously the wheel to do the rest ah too much too much <laughs> but yeah this is just a video really to show you the benefits of having a direct drive wheel that spins itself and does all of this like force feedback gives you really a like um a sense of immersion, if you will. One, two, come the two, to the three, to the four. Yo, I don't even know where my steering wheel is in the mirror. Yo, damn. All right, let's let's take this seriously. Let's get a full line going. Full. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now full pe pedal to the metal. Pedal. To, is that other phrase? There's a bench there. Who is putting benches in the back garden? Come on now. Okay, let's give this a go, shall we? Maybe I'll do better because it's inside the car, so I might actually be able to see if the, uh, the back end isn't putting me off too much. And I can see where the front end's happening. Nope, okay, that was... Oh, I don't know, we're still, we're still in track. Still going, we're still... Yeah, 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 I'm liking this, I'm liking this, okay. Okay, and we're going to kick it back out. Oh, hello. I think we've just figured that we can do it first person instead a lot easier. Because I guess with first person you can actually see where the front of the car is. You know that you're in line with like the bushes and stuff, I guess. Oh god, that one's a sharp corner. Oh god damn. So like this, I know that I'm now close enough to this side on the right where I'm not going to hit my back end of the car. Where before, the back end was too close to... Oh my god. Oh god. No, that was... So is this this one. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we hit the back end there. Feather the pedal. Feather the pedal. Full throttle. Bench! It's that silly same bench. Get a bit of a front bonnet view, if you will. See, I don't know if that's actually kicking at the back. Oh, it is. It is. We missed that bench by millimetres. Okay. I'm liking this. Oh, God. If there's a bench here, screwed. No, there's not. Nope, but there's a barrier. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is my first ever experience driving direct drive with drifting on a Saturday Corsa. Again, brutally humiliate me in the comments below because I know I'm terrible. So it'd be a great help to understand what I'm doing wrong, where I'm putting too much throttle on, where I'm not putting enough throttle on. Just, you know, and if you enjoyed this new hand cam, I'm happy to do more of this. Hopefully I can get a bit more distance between the steering wheel because... I feel like sometimes you didn't really see the steering wheel, you just saw like this. So um, I need to sort of really keep my arms straight. I don't know. We'll have to see in uh, post-production of how good it is. But anyway, again, it's my first time. 
obviously doing hand cam as well, new perspective. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Camera C5 and a set of Corsa and your lovely faces. And if you want more gameplay on stuff as well, I'm more than happy to do some gameplay. We could jump in some Valorant on live streams and all that jazz. Let's get back to the roots of this channel as well as doing the tech stuff. So it's a bit of both and a bit of lifestyle in there too and photography and all that good stuff. There's no point in having a niche because YouTube will display this video to whoever they want. So niches, not really a thing anymore. It's more about just doing what you enjoy and if other people enjoy it with you, that is a bonus. But I'll leave it at that. And that tree is glitching out like crazy on the left there. Capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.